Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to teach you another little uh, Thor trick that I recently learned. Actually this trick uh, comes courtesy of James Bernard and I wanted to pay a little homage to him because uh, I know he's been going through some difficult times recently. And um, basically this was um, his idea, at least at least he told this idea to me. So um, I, where it originated from, I don't know, but it's always been in Thor and it's uh, very simple, not not anything too complex, but it basically shows you how to play um, your sequences from a Thor from a keyboard as a MIDI input um, into Thor, and allows you to transpose across the keyboard. So, um, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just turn this on to repeat, um, keep this on forward. Um, I will just randomly assign a pattern. I'm going to turn down the pan option. Um, I created this patch in a previous video, so if you didn't see it, just go to the video before in YouTube and you'll see it. Um, essentially, now if you press the run button, I've got a nice little pattern, but let's just change it a little bit. So now we've got a decent little pattern going. Now if you play it, um, basically um, what you need to do is, in order to play it from your keyboard, just turn off the MIDI input. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to set the MIDI key note. 100 is going to be step sequencer transpose. And then you're also going to take um, the MIDI key gate and that is what's going to turn the sequencer on. So you're going to set it to trig. So now when you play it on your keyboard, uh, let's see if I can actually show you this. Uh, so let's take the keyboard here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play A on my keyboard. See how it plays down there at C1? So let's move it up a little. So it still plays the same sequence down here, except that you're playing it on your keyboard. The gate of your MIDI key, what, what turns the keys on and off, is starting the the, um, the actual sequencer by pressing that run button. And the notes, the transpose, is the actual note you're playing on the keyboard. So if you play lower, it's going to play lower. Play higher, it's going to play higher. That's pretty much it. That's just a little trick that I learned. Um, and basically, I thank you, James, for showing this to me. And uh, it's a great little feature that you can use in your sequences. Um, so no matter what you have, you can actually use Thor as a fully functioning um, oscillators that are uh, playable direct from your keyboard and change depending on where you're playing it on the keyboard. So thank you very much for joining me, and uh, again, I'm Rob at Reason101.net, and this has been a little bit of a tutorial. Oh, and let's let's listen to how the pan sounds and how those mods sound when I play it. <laughs>